welcome back. Today we're gonna be making a super easy spinach and bacon cream sauce pasta, but I got a little message for y'all first. Y'all, I really wanna say thank you for subscribing to my channel. I'm up, I'm working, gotta, gotta do some stuff. But y'all, thank you so much. Thank you. I'm, I'm Thank you guys so much for 500,000 subscribers. Woohoo! Thank y'all. I appreciate all of y'all. But let's get to the tutorial first, okay? So I'm going to start out with cooking my salmon because I'm going to be adding salmon to my pasta. Now, if you don't want to use any type of protein, you don't have to. But I want to add salmon to mine, so I'm going to cook my salmon first. You can use shrimp. You can use chicken if you want to. Crab meat. Also, Italian sausage is amazing in this. I'm going to season it with some blackened seasoning, some salt, and a little bit of accent because <laughs> that's what I like. I like accent on my food, okay? It makes it taste good. Don't be talking about, oh, it ain't good for you. I ain't studying y'all. So it's unprotected sex. It ain't good for you either, but I know y'all out there doing it with your nasty self. All right. Thank God for Jesus. He protects us all, okay? So I'm going to flip mine over, and I'm going to season the other side. Why? Because we eat both sides. Duh. Okay. So make sure you do that. Now I'm going to cook my salmon on top of the stove because that's what I like to do. Okay, I got my cast iron skillet here. I'm using Tyrone. He big and black, honey. I like him. All right, so I'm going to be adding my oil to my cast iron skillet. I'm going to swerve it on around, get everything sopped up up in my cast iron, okay? Then I'm going to have it smoking like a chimney, honey. I'm smoking like my daddy used to smoke them cigarettes back in the day, okay? He used to smoke Winston-Salem's on the front porch back in Alabama. But, yeah. Honey, that's a horse of another color. Anyway, so I'm just going to uh, cook my salmon on the stove like I, I normally do. I got my, my cast iron here, and I got it smoking hot, and I'm going to put my salmon down in there. Now, I'm not going to blacken this all the way like I would normally do it for my personal preference because my daughter was eating it that day, and she don't really like it too blackened, okay? We're working on, on that, but hey, she likes to kind of medium seared, okay? So it looks good, though, yeah. So getting all that crust on there, make sure you, if you're going to cook your salmon or your shrimp and you want a nice crust on there, be sure to pat it dry, y'all, okay, to remove the moisture so you don't have soggy seafood or soggy chicken. <laughs> don't nobody want that. any stuff that I'm going to talk about, too, in the group chat. So I'm just going to let mine cook for about four minutes like that, and then I'm going to just flip it over. See, it has a nice sear on there, but it's not blackened all the way like it's... You know, like you would normally blacken stuff because my daughter's eating it and she ain't with it. All right, so I'm going to put my lid on there and just let it cook for a couple more minutes until it's kind of medium well. I like my salmon medium well and so does she. So, we, you know, we like it medium well. If you like well done, go ahead and cook it for about seven minutes or so. And you can also just place this in the oven, okay? Same thing with chicken. Or you can use a rotisserie chicken from the store. Whatever meat you want to use, it's totally up to you. Ain't no shame in your game. So I'm just going to remove my salmon from the pan there. And I'm going to leave those drippings. Okay, I need my drip drip. <laughs> All right, I need my food lube. That's what that is. That's food lube. That's what we call. That's food lube right there. Put your don't 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 scrape the drippings out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and start making the cream sauce. I'm gonna add some butter in there. This sauce is super easy to make. If you made my fish and grits before, I think that video is on here down yonder somewhere. Okay, but it's kind of like the same type of cream sauce, just a little different. So I'm gonna add my butter and let that get nice and melted. I'm not gonna brown it because I don't want brown butter. Okay, I want a white cream sauce and um. Yeah, I want my sauce to be a little Caucasian, okay? I want to stay all the way white. All right, so I don't want to brown my butter. I don't want that rich, rich brown butter flavor this time, okay? So I'm just going to let it just melt. Then I want to add in my chopped garlic now, uh, or my garlic paste. Now, if you don't have garlic paste or fresh garlic, honey, use some garlic powder, okay? Just put your garlic powder in there and just swirl it around just like I did. It's going to taste good. Use what you got to what? Get what you want, okay? Running from the Players Club. Ayow. So we're just going to add our garlic in there, and then we're going to add in our butter, and then we're going to add in our cream, which is I'm using half and half. I'm sorry. So I'm not using heavy cream, y'all. I'm using half and half. That's what they had at the store. It was $2, and I'm using half and half, okay? So I'm just going to add my half and half. And as you can see, when we add our half and half, all that seasoning at the bottom just came what? It rolls to the top. That's right, like Jesus did on Easter. Rose, resurrecting cream sauce. Hey, man, that's what we need. So I'm going to add in my blackened seasoning. I'm just going to season it up, okay, because we want it to be good. Okay, make sure you season it. Then I'm going to add a little bit of chicken bouillon up in there because that's what I like, okay? It makes it taste good. And a little bit of white pepper. I was trying to be bougie. Add a little white pepper just because I had it. But you can use a little black pepper in there if you want to, okay? And I'm just going to bring this to a boil. Now, I'm going to boil this for about three minutes or so. I am on medium heat. Don't you put that thing on, on high, honey, <laughs> because that thing going to be scorched and it going to be sopped up. Then folks going to talk about you in the what? Group chat. When the social distance is over and you can cook for people, then 
then they're going to talk about you. But right now, you, you can get away with it. But don't turn it on high, okay, y'all? So cut it on me, medium heat and just uh, let it boil for about three minutes. Now, once it started thicken up like that, we're going to add in our shaved Parmesan. Don't be using no cheddar, baby. This ain't no mac and cheese, okay? <laughs> Use a little Parmesan because Parmesan cheese is really good. It's great for pasta and it also melts in the sauce and makes it taste real good and it don't clump up on you, okay? We don't want that, okay? We want it to be nice and smooth and still creamy but still have that kind of really rich flavor. So I'm going to add in my Parmesan. Now I've got some frozen spinach here. One dollar! One dollar frozen spinach, okay? I'm just going to strain it because I don't want my my um, my um cream sauce to have all that water up and it ain't going to be sopped up. The sauce is going to break on you. It ain't going to be good, okay? So you want to make sure if you're using fro frozen spinach to thaw it out and then strain it like I just did. Take the water out of it, okay? Squeeze the water out. Squeeze, honey. Squeeze. How y'all be looking at them waist trainers, okay? Squeeze the spinach like a waist trainer and put it in there, okay? Get the water out and put it in there. Don't do what I did. You see my heat was turned up just a little bit too high had to turn that thing on down okay had to break it down like r&b okay because it was trying to do too much trying to get away from me no don't do that so i had it on medium heat i turned it down to actually low medium and then i just let it boil just for about 20 30 more seconds and y'all i added my bacon now if you don't dine with the swine you don't have to add this okay if you don't eat pork then you don't have to add that but i like a little oink oink in mine okay i like a little little girl uh pig in mind, okay, I was raised where my family used to chase down hogs and everything up in uh, Cordell, Georgia, child, they used to do that every every summer at the uh, family reunion, they used to chase down hogs and all that, so I've been eating pig a long time, but I don't eat it that much, but I do still like a little bit of bacon, okay, up in there, a little ham, but if you don't like that, you don't have to use that, okay, so I'm going to add now my uh, pasta to that, I'm going to be using fettuccine, or it may have been linguine, whatever I could find in the store that day, okay, they didn't really have a lot of pasta, but I added that to that, I just cooked it according to the box instructions, and I add that in there, now you don't have to add pasta y'all you can put this cream sauce on top of a baked potato delicious you can uh just put it on top of any type of chicken and then eat like um rice on the side if you want to the sauce is amazing the recipe really is about the sauce okay you can do whatever you want to with the sauce we're just going to toss that around in there i'm going to toss my pasta in the sauce okay get everybody nice and swallowed up in there like baby jesus in the manger okay just like that and then what i want to do is just take my salmon here because you can serve it family style if you want to you can also take your salmon and flake it you don't have to have it whole but you can break it into pieces and toss it in the pasta if you want to do that but just for instagram purposes okay to take a cute picture i'm going to put mine down up in there like that right there okay and just give it a look uh, uh, look tink tink like that right there okay and then what i like to do is I like to take, because I, I want my sauce to be on top of my fish, okay? I want to go ahead and take that cream sauce and just put it on top of that salmon, just like that. If you're putting the shrimp in there, just put it on top of that, just like that right there, okay? And it, it need love, too, okay? Sister Rona trying to take all of us out, even the fish, okay? So we got to just give it some love, too. All right, and see, that is it, y'all. We're pretty much done. But what I like to do is I like to finish it off for the little shaved Parmesan cheese, because I had it on deck, and I don't want it to go bad. And plus, I love Parmesan. It's my favorite cheese, okay? I love it so much, and I believe you can never have enough of it and i'm gonna show you how i feel about it because i'd add a little bit more grated parmesan on there why because it's my prerogative i can do that because i want to do that okay so i put that on there like grated parmesan then we're going to finish it off with a little bit of food grass aka parsley and some pretty little lemons okay take a cute picture on instagram and that is it y'all so easy so simple to make and it only took you less than 20 minutes to make it okay thank you guys so much for watching again thank you thank you thank you so much for subscribing i appreciate all of you guys thank you for every recipe you have made every like every share every comment good or bad honey every cookbook that you have bought i am forever forever grateful for all of y'all i wish you guys the best of luck out there to all my central workers just know that we are still praying for you and y'all be safe out there okay and if anybody ever told you that they didn't love you remember that i do i love you so much okay